Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 26th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what comes up for you. I'm going to pull an extra card there. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, you start off with the Five of Spades. A lot of people get in this card this week. You actually have the other card, too, Five of Clubs. Uh, a lot, I think um, Taurus had both of these cards as well. So, very interesting. Uh, probably taking some sort of risk to change your life at this time. I feel like for Leo, for the most part, it's probably career related that you could be thinking about starting a new career or you could be having career ideas. Um, but again, it probably does feel like a risk. Um, especially, I would say, for those of you born in like the 60s, uh, somewhere around there, a lot of you could be thinking about starting some sort of whole new career. But even though you might be thinking like, hey, I'm, I want to retire in a few years, but then maybe you have some idea for like a business or something like that. Maybe you've already had this idea. I don't feel like you're just like coming up with this this week. Um, so, you know, again, maybe you've been thinking about doing something different for a while. And now I think you have to get ready to make a decision. I actually don't think you have to make the, the decision itself this week. But I think that there will be maybe some sort of thing that pops up that kind of asks you to kind of decide on a direction, at least at this time. Uh, next, two of diamonds. So a lot of you could be getting a job, could be a new job. And again, for those of you, I do feel like for the rest of you who aren't born in the 60s, and even if you are, uh, I do feel like there still could be some sort of surprise, maybe job offer or some sort of surprising, you know, uh, like opportunity or something this week. Uh, very good card for money, and it could even represent a payout, some sort of cash payout or something coming to you at this time. Great card if you're in business as well. If you are in business, this card says, hey, maybe you just need to hire somebody or take somebody else on or bring somebody else into the business to help you who could take the business further as well. Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds, Fortune After Difficulty. So more money coming in. So I really like to see this card for you as well. can definitely represent money, more earnings coming in. It's also a card of learning uh, and a card of secret knowledge and Definitely looking at the chart right now, uh, Pluto and Capricorn, I've talked about this before. To me, Pluto represents kind of like being a detective, needing to dig into things, needing to figure things out. So I think it's a great year to do that. Great year to dig into anything that you want to learn, anything that you want to find things out about. Could even be just digging into something that you already do. Like maybe you have a passion to do something in life, but maybe you work in like a different field. And this card is saying, hey, there's like a lot of gold right where you are. You just have to kind of figure out how to turn whatever it is that you do into gold at this time next you have the four hearts card of something new card it could be moving actually the ten of diamonds can say you could be moving as well so there's a lot of moving energy here could be traveling and again i would say moving in the future though you have the five of clubs five of clubs says you could just be planning this move you could be thinking about it you know kind of putting those things into place but this card here can represent new jobs new businesses and even new love coming into your life at this time as well so Definitely a good card there. Next, Five of Clubs, card of renovation. So a lot of you could be working on a home. Again, some of you could be planning a move in the future, uh, or you could just be making changes to yourself at this time as well, which I think is, you know, I think it's a great year to, uh, you know, work on your appearance, your, even your physical appearance if you want to, uh, even though Venus does go retrograde, but I still think it's a great time to think about those things. And when Venus does go retrograde, it's a really great time to, like, think about the changes you would make to yourself and all that other stuff. And it's also a great card for changing your personality or, um, you know, not necessarily personality, but making some maybe confidence changes or something along those lines. Next, three of spades, stay healthy at this time. Uh, definitely, you know, don't get sick and make sure to just stay healthy. That's what the card says. And then finally, jack of hearts. Um, again, for, for some of you, I feel like there could be, um, there could be some sort of like, um, opportunity for you to hire somebody younger, but I feel like, you know, sometimes this card comes up and it's like you have an opportunity to like work with somebody who's younger than you or something. And, but you kind of look at them and you're like, but they're, they're younger than me. You know, do they really, can they really do what they're supposed to do or something like that? Uh, I would say yes. So definitely hire them if you're thinking about hiring somebody younger. Then I also feel like for some of you, this could be love coming in as well. Somebody who is interested in you coming in in the form of a relationship. But it looks like a good week. Um, I would say mostly about exploring things. I'd say don't be afraid to explore your passions. That's definitely what's pop the message that's popping into my head. Um, I feel like that for Leo in general, I feel like the whole, like part of your challenge has been to like try to maybe turn your passion into something that's actually, you know, can support life maybe even your family or maybe your future family or something like that. So, and I think there is definitely some sort of challenge there. Um, you know, because again, I think that Leo naturally wants security 
you know, so it's like if you have a secure job, you're like, I don't really want to leave this because it's secure. So I think that some of those que- some of those types of questions I feel like could be coming up for you this week. Uh, but it looks really good, really good card. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.